Hello everyone, this is Tane from Junior Programmer and in this video I am bringing you a game, a stick hero game that you might have played. So this game works like this, that there is a person and he has to make the sticks to cross the hills. And if the, he crosses the hill, more than the hill itself will fall. So let's move on to the code. So first of all, we'll have the HTML file. So I'm using the VS Code editor. You can use any of the code editor you would like. It won't make any difference. So let's start. So first of all, we'll just um, define the the doc type HTML head, the basic elements of HTML. Then moving on to the body. In the body, we'll define a div with the class as container. Then another div with ID as score. Then another canvas div, div, and a button. So these are all there to represent the outputs, the animations on the screen, for example, the score and the perfect score and all that. So the HTML is pretty much small because the main thing is in the JavaScript code. So first, let's do some CSS styling because it is important for a game to have good graphics. So first of all, we'll start with the HTML and the body tag and then with the body tag, just giving it height and margin, the font, the cursor, and then we'll move on to the elements that we declared in the HTML. So score, introduction, these are just the uh, these are just the IDs of the elements. So we're just styling them simply like the padding, font, translation, font family, weight, height. This is just the basic styling that we have do that we have been doing in the past. And we've also given the colors, the cursor, the font weight, and all that. So similarly, we'll do with the perfect, the position, opacity, and transition, and then the YouTube. Now in the media will just display the animation that is going in the video as you can see in the bottom left so these are just the basic elements again just the head uh, height width position bottom left and all that and i'm also adding some hover effects and some before and after effects so we can uh, we can style this youtube that is on the bottom left uh, properly and it looks good so as you can see this is not too much difficult not any new thing just some basic styling for example the font position and all that so you're doing with the youtube span youtube hover plus youtube card when we hover on when we hover on the onto the youtube it changes a little bit of color for example the background color is white and all that so this is the styling that we need we do not basically need much styling we only need the basic javascript code or the game code or the loop that we'll be using in the game so move on to the <coughs> JavaScript file we can call it app.js so here just extend the base functionality of JavaScript using this function and then we'll and then we'll declare a sinus function the sign function which will um, accept degrees instead of radians just to make everything easier and all that and then we'll just define some variables for example the phase the timestamp the hero x hero y scene offset so let when we use the keyword let it is just as we're defining a variable so we are just defining some basic um, variables at the start that we'll use afterwards. And after that, we just have to define some configuration elements, some configuration variables, for example, the canvas width, height, platform height, hero distance from edge, and all that. These are the constant values which will not change throughout the code. And these will remain the same. And we do not need to change them. That is why we're writing the const or the constant keyword with them. So similarly, the base um, hill one base height amplitude stretch, then hill two base height amplitude then stretch, then the stretching speed, turning speed, walking speed, transition speed, and all these elements. For example, the hero weight and hero height and all that because we do not need to change them. Then we'll get the canvas. Now we are just getting the canvas from the element ID, and on the canvas we'll draw everything. All of the game will be played on the canvas, and then we'll get the const ctx is canvas dot get context 2d on the 2d frame so after that we're just getting some elements from the ids and storing it in the variables so we can use it afterwards so first of all we need to reset game variables in layout but does not start the game um, because we do not we need to start um, keep the game in the start change everything to the start after the reset is pressed so first of all the phase last timestamp scene offset and all that and introduction and all that like we're just moving into the start so just these are just some functions that we'll define afterwards we're just using the function here for example about the trees about the hills about the hero and all that so first of all we'll define the function generate tree 
now the minimum gap and the maximum gap is the range that I want to give like it has to be between this um, gap so let's say the tree is greater than this gap it cannot be placed there so we just using the function a random function to get a value between the minimum and the maximum gap and then clearing and then using the floor function to get a integer value and then placing the tree over there and then there are different colors that we like the tree to be color then we are using the generated platform in this again we're using the minimum gap maximum gap maximum gap the same concept as we are doing with the trees and then we'll just place the tree randomly between this gap okay so the trees and all that will be placed between this gap any random value generated by the function in the javascript itself now if the space was pressed restart the game so we are using the event listener so if the key down is pre uh, pressed we reset the game and this means that everything will be reset and we'll start again now if the mouse down is present uh, pressed will phase is waiting so phases you'll see afterwards what they do and then we just start with the game similarly with the mouse up the phase is stretching and we the uh, character stops to move the hero stops to move and with the resize it resizes all of the canvas so the main game loop let's move on to the main game loop so first of all animate and if last if there is no last timestamp we'll give it to the timestamp and request the animation and all that now switch which is for basically for what will happen in the game it is like an equal statement so if it is waiting um, we'll just stop the loop if it is stretching then this means we'll just um, this is for the stick to be stretching if it is turning the stick is turning we'll just keep track of the rotations and all that and for example if the rotation is greater than 90 it will move it to the 90 and all that so this is just to keep the rotation of the sticks now if the character is walking this is for the hero edge the character that will be said so when it is walking its position along the x-axis will change not along the y-axis because the hills are of the same height the only the width of the hills is changing so the character always moves in the x direction okay so we also here see that if the character makes to the another hill within the bounds of the hill or if not within the bounds of the hill and if not then it is falling the phase is changed to falling okay and then the transitioning phase uh, transitioning phase um, in this phase we'll just add the next step the transition where the scene is being transitioned and scene is moving in the behind of the character and the phase is waiting now if the phase is falling we'll just first see that if the character is falling and then we'll just animate the character falling from the hill this means that if the stick is long enough in the hill then the character will walk to the stick and will fall okay so after that we'll draw and request the animation so the platforms the platform the sticks hit so if the platform the stick hits is within the hill then it will be fine if not then it will be not fine and the character will fall over now if the stick hits the perfect area there's a perfect area between the center of the hill just between the center of the hill and if it hits that area the stick then it will get a perfect score and the perfect score will appear onto the screen now function draw the draw function is where we will draw everything first of all we'll draw the background um, the trees the hills and all that so first of all is the draw background function so ctx dot translate will just center the main canvas area to the middle of the screen then draw the scene for example draw platforms heroes and sticks and just one hero and then restore all that so when it is clicked it will reset the game as i've told you now draw platform when we draw platform we'll just draw platform with black and platform is basically like the hill or the background you can say give it a black color just make a rectangle and then <coughs> draw perfect area only if the hero did not yet reach the platform okay so this is just when the perfect area is there when hero is not there and he can see the perfect area onto the next platform then we'll draw the hero similarly we'll just use the um, draw, <coughs> draw rounded rectangle um, we'll then draw the legs of the heroes just using the begin part arc fill function these are just like you are drawing onto the canvas but these are the functions that help you to draw on the canvas then we will drawing then we will be drawing the eye of the 
hero then arc fill begin pad then we'll be drawing the headband of the hero it will be red in color again using the rectangle and then the line so this is just like you're drawing with a pencil but these are the functions that you'll have to do uh, you'll have to use to draw onto the canvas now function draw a rounded rectangle here just defining a function to draw a rounded rectangle it takes an x y width height and the radius of the edges like how much will it be rounded so similarly again we're using the lines the arcs the lines the arcs so this is again just like you're drawing with a pencil you have the x and y and then drawing with the arc uh, the rounded rectangle then we'll draw the sticks <coughs> So first of all, we'll move the anchor point of the stick to the start of the stick or the base of the stick. Um, so that is from where the rotation occurs. So when the stick rotates, this is the anchor point. Then we'll draw the stick itself and then the transformation will occur. Then we'll draw the background. So first of all, we need to draw the sky or the background like bluish in color. You can give it any color you want. So I'm just giving it colors, a gradient. And then we'll draw a rectangle. Then we'll draw some hills like the hills in the background <coughs> so just to make it more visually appealing and good graphics so this is the function draw hill that will define um, afterwards for example in the function we'll use base height base amplitude stretch and color so this is just like a sinusoidal wave that you can say will define uh, will form the mountains because the mountains are just like them for example this is also using the same thing for example the lines um and the get hill y and all that just like as you would draw on a canvas itself then we'll draw the trees so we'll draw the trees into the background according to the same function then we'll draw the tree trunk so the, these are some constants that i've declared and then we'll be using them in the draw trunk and draw crown so we're just again i'm saying that we're just drawing the things at you as you would draw on a paper for example and then we're just using the functions that are there to help achieve the drawing that you would do on a paper. It is just simple as that, nothing much complex. And now similarly, for example, get hill y, get tree y. So we're just putting the trees on there. So this is the output as, as you can see the hero, um, here is a stick as it falls onto the perfect score, the double score moves on. Now if the stick is longer, the hero falls down and the restart button appears. I hope you like this video and you learned a lot. The link is in the description if you want to do this yourself. And thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe and like the video if you haven't subscribed yet. And please mention in the comments what would you like to see in the future videos.